Tutorial Thursday is alive and well. In this video, I kind of want to discuss or how to make a kind of looping Instagram aesthetic gif type deal video. It's not really a gif, but it's something that can be applied to athletes or even yourself. In this video, I'm going to kind of show how I made the gif that I made for work in Major League Baseball and most notably Aaron Judge. So let's get into it. I have my project up right now. What we're going to do is go up, start a new comp. Um, we're going to label this Judge. Basically what this is, is a background, white background, and then some buildings coming up, the skyline of New York and Yankee Stadium. And also at the same time, Aaron Judge comes up and then this pinstripe graphic with the Yankees logo, because obviously he plays the Yankees. It's pretty simple with some motion blur and uh, keyframing applied. So first, we're gonna start with our picture of Aaron Judge. What we're gonna wanna do is drag this into your composition, scale it up to your liking and hit G. I like to zoom in to get the best one and you can, just what you're gonna wanna do is G will bring up your pen tool and you're just gonna wanna pen this out. You wanna get as close as you can to Aaron Judge and just crop him out, basically. Trace his outline. And I forgot to mention, if you zoom in on the image while you're tracing him out, just because it'll make it easier, what you can do is hit the eight, hit H and that'll help you, that'll let you kind of drag this around and then you can just hit G again and it'll take you straight back to your pen tool. So now, as you can see, I have Aaron Judge cut out and it looks really good because we did it manually. That's the worst part of this whole process. But now what you want to do, what I'm gonna do is make a new solid white solid in the background, put it behind Aaron Judge just so we can see this forming here. And then we're gonna want to drag our skyline in behind Aaron Judge, make the judge layer invisible, and then scale this down. And we're gonna start cropping out our skyline. So this doesn't have to be perfect, but the more precise you are, the better it's gonna look. Like right here where all these buildings are kind of muddled there, the details, it's not a huge deal if you're a little inaccurate because that's going to be so small on a phone screen or anything like that that it, people probably won't notice just do the same thing you did with aaron judge but around all the buildings and i just like to go to the highest point in all the buildings all right so i have the city pretty much cut out here and what i'm going to do is just wrap this mask back around you don't have to be precise with it at all now your skyline is masked out as well click on this layer and kind of move it to the bottom maybe scale her up a little bit now for the last mask you have to do is probably the easiest one this is gonna kind of depend on what you decide to do here but what i'm gonna do is mask out the facade of yankee stadium drag yankee stadium in here Scale it to your likings or so you can see it all. You can worry about the precise scaling afterwards. Um, zoom in and repeat the same process you did before. You can do this process in Photoshop if you want, but this gives you the, the best results. Yes, it takes a little bit more time. So once you get this cut out, drag this layer behind here. I kind of cover this up and then make your judge layer visible again. And what you want to do is kind of scale him to your liking. Obviously the foot in his foot in the picture was cut off. So I'm going to kind of hide that as well. Okay. So as you can see here, we have the basically almost, we are almost done here. What I'm going to do is take the pinstripe, stick it back here and position that where the, where you can see the Yankees logo. So this right here is exactly what the gift looks like almost. Um, I'm recreating this from scratch, so it's going to be a little slightly different. Now we got to animate all the layers. To make this easy on me, I'm going to take the judge picture cut out, whatever you want to call it, the skyline and the Yankee Stadium picture and pre-compose them so we can move them all at once and keep it more organized. I'm going to hit P, drag this down so they're off the screen, hit the clock for a keyframe and then go like a second and a half in and go back to 540, which is what the default it started at. So they pop in. I'm gonna make that a little way shorter actually. Right click this keyframe here, add easy ease. That'll make it a little bit more natural animation. After you add your keyframes, you can see that Judge and the Skyline and the Stadium are animated up. Now we just have to animate the pinstripes. 
as you can see they're showing here on the bottom but it is going to be covered up by aaron judge whenever he what swipes up there type in linear wipe in your effects and presets panel and then you're going to change this to 180 i believe no sorry 360 or you can change this first number to one and that'll get it so you can animate this down so get it so it's completely off screen and then drag it to where Aaron Judge comes up and then drag it back down to zero. We are not done yet. Go into your pre-composition and then hit command P and that'll bring up your puppet tool. So puppet tool, what it does is it allows it to essentially animate a still image, if that makes sense. So you can move the players and pictures at joints and anchor points and that will really set aside. It will really kind of set your graphics aside from everyone else or just like a still gift. Click this where all his joints would be. And you don't want, you want this to be kind of subtle. You don't want this to be super overblown. But just drag it to the end of your comp and just kind of drag his, his body parts just a little bit. Animate his head a good amount there, maybe his hand. You can see he's moving just a little bit. I want that a little bit more pronounced. There you go. Subtle but good. That'll, that should show up automatically in your composition. What I'm going to do also is kind of scale Aaron Judge just a little bit up, I'd say. So like probably like 48. And maybe move his position. So like move him over just a little. Start him there. So there you go. So he's animated in two ways now. He's really separated from the backdrop. One more thing, take these where these three dots are. This is a big thing in After Effects that everyone should know, is just add motion blur to everything. That'll make it look more realistic. As he's coming up, it looks natural to the human eye. And then to make this looping, if you wanna do that, what I did was go kinda to the end of your composition create a new solid again. You can make it white. You wanna make it the same color as what your first frame is. And then drag it to like there. And then do crop edges. There's a numerous, there's a bunch of different ways you can kind of achieve this looping effect, but this was an easy, simple way. And I think it looks really good. It comes in like a square. Scale this all the way up to 50, so there's nothing there. And then move to the end of it. Zoom in to help you out. Second to last frame, drag this all the way down to zero. So as you can see, if we run this back, this is what we got. How I go about designing these GIFs and in these, these kind of looping little I mean, animations is I would just kind of take something that was relevant to the city that the athlete plays in or something that he or she likes. So for example, if you do like Mike Trout, you, you take some palm trees because he plays in LA. LeBron James, same thing. Palm trees, beaches, whatever you want. Fast cars, the Staples Center in the background. Um, another thing that you could add for a player in New York, like maybe a Kyrie Irving or a Kevin Durant now, or even Aaron Judge. Maybe like a little subway graphic, um, like a nameplate that kind of slides in that's similar to what you would see in New York on the mass transit system. So you can have their name in there and their number in the little bubbles, something like that. Like you wanna grab references from pop culture or the city that the athlete plays in and put them in your looping gifts. It'd be a cool touch. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope I could provide some value. Like I always say in every tutorial, that's what we're here to do. Like and subscribe. I work really hard on these YouTube videos and I'll see you on Monday.